Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. So for today's viewer requested question, I apologize, I don't have your name. Can the F-14B supercruiser please try next if you can get the F-14B to supercruise? So first of all, we need to stipulate what is supercruise. So that's going to get that official specification. So we can see here that supercruise is sustained supersonic flight of a supersonic aircraft with a useful cargo passenger or weapons load performed efficiently which typically precludes the use of highly inefficient afterburners or reheat. So, no afterburners, so up to mill power maximum. We have to have some relevant cargo, so in this case it's going to be an F-14B, so it's going to be either air-to-ground or air-to-air -air cargo, and I think probably the most useful cargo we're going to get for the weight and the drag is going to be a light air-to-air -air loadout. And we're going to see at various altitudes if we can break the sound barrier on constant level flight. So here is our F-14B loadout. This is considered a light but useful air-to-air -air loadout. Two times AIM-54 Phoenix long-range air-to-air missiles. Two times short-range AIM-9 Mike Sidewinders. Here is our aircraft loadout. Two front-mounted low-down Phoenixes. Two Sidewinders. Otherwise, all of the pylons have been left on for exterior stores. We can check that we're not using afterburner with these two gauges here to make sure they're low down so the no nozzles are closed. Therefore, we're going to have mill power. And that is it. Let's set us going. We'll start with low altitude. Okay, we can use our afterburners to get to near Mach 1. We can see our Mach meter here. We're aiming for Mach 1 there or above. Wing sweep is automatic. Okay, we're going to come off the burners now. So we should see mill power there. Let's check there's no flame. A little bit of flame there. So let's come down a bit further. Okay. So we're off burn. And we cannot quite reach Mach 1. Very close. True speed, 655. Not. No, it's not going to do it. So we're Mach 0.99 basically. I'm going to try a little higher. We're now at 13,000 feet ASL. We've got the same throttle levels. We'll just check we're not burning again. Okay, no burn. Rattas uh, 652. Oh, I think we might be supersonic there. It says there we're supersonic. Let's do an actual acoustic test. Yeah, that is a sonic boom. Right, so we've got IAS 526 or thereabouts, true speed around 650. We've got just over kind of Mach 1.01 or something like that at uh, 12,000 feet. And we've definitely not got our afterburners on, the nozzles are shut, and the burner rings are off. A use, I know it's a light load, but that is technically useful load. Um, and we'll try one up at cruise altitude just purely for fun. Hey, we're at 37,000 ASL. We are at mill power for sure. We are now subsonic at Mach 0.96. True airspeed 552 and indicated airspeed of 289. So it's very interesting. At sea level, we could not supercruise. We were stuck at 0.99. Presumably, we could get good engine power, but we simply had too much. Uh, density for the aerodynamics to exceed the sound barrier. At Angels 12, we generated enough power. The air was thick enough, but it was thin enough to overcome the aerodynamics to get through the sound barrier. So we have Mach 1.01 or something like that. And then as we went higher up to cruise, for whatever reason, we can't do it. Probably something to do with the engines not generating enough power up here, I imagine. But um, yeah, I'm certainly not an expert. Note that if you took the ordnance off the aircraft, then it would also be able to break the sound barrier uh, down low and I think up here as well in mill power but that is not the specification for Super Cruise. Uh, that's what I've got to show. I hope that was useful to see you later.